श्री गणेशाय नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम श्रीराम जय राम जय जय राम श्रीराम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम 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 जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम हो रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेधसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीता पत नम अतुलबलधाम हेम शैलाभदेह दनुजवन कृशाग्रगण्यम सकलगुण निधान वानराधीश रघुपति प्रिय भक्त वात जात नमा रघुपति प्रिय भक्त वात जात नमा ओं श्री हनुमते नम नमस्ी तुसीदास सद्वरिष्ठा दीमते पूरी हृदय येन राम प्रेमामृते नमे हरिओम ए वेरी वाम वेलकम फॉर टुडे सेशन टू डेज वी हैव सीन द ग्लोरी ऑफ रामायण टुडे वी विल टॉक अ लिटल अबाउट भगवान श्री रामचंद्र जी ऑफ कोर्स एस ए सेड अर्लियर ऑल थ्रू रामायण वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इट बट समबडी विल डेफिनेटली हैव अ क्वेश्चन इफ नॉट द एल्डरली जनरेशन वाई बिकॉज दे हैव गॉट हैबिचुएटेड लिसनिंग टू इट लेट अस ए आर मॉडर्न यूथ टूडे wants to ask a question swami ji every single one of us every single one of us have our own stories in life yes or no yes including the speaker while every single one of us have got our own stories of life Why is Ram Chandra Ji's story be, is made so popular and so you know raised to that level? A Ramayan is being talked about him. What is there in that story? And yesterday we said Ramayan is all in one. How we will see? My question now. 
can just a story become a grantha if you ask me everybody has got a story why rama's story only has become a grantha called ramayan there must be something isn't it there must be something which is so deep in its nature which is in samskrita called gudha what is gudha secret that which is a very 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 important secret of life raja vidya raja gukyam pavitram idam uttamam raja vidya raja gukyam it is said this knowledge is raja gukya it is so very secret what is their secret in the story because now see most of us <coughs> if not all of us of course most of us see ram ramayana as a story we catch it as a story only one two yes when we tell the story to the children our next generation then we cook up some i i am not wrong we cook up some values we pick up some values from elsewhere we put them together and give them moral science class ramayan story is told what is the moral of the story tang 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 the church, the teacher will make one sentence the moral of the story is you must be truthful moral of the story is you must be obedient moral of the story is you must listen to your parents like that they will cook up and then they put it there and then the, the student doesn't understand anything the student will only mug up the sto- story it might enjoy the moral which is given at the end of the story it will mug up and what will happen once the examination paper comes question paper comes it will vomit everything there it ends with reference to children come to the youth the youth will say huh, all these are impractical in modern life swami ji we are grown ups our lives is completely changed it is a modern era all these old stories will not hold water think 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 the statements which they give and they will say who can be like rama maybe rama is not capable of you know giving up and taking something else one when very author said a very great guru of the modern era rather without taking the name he said ha huh, you have got plenty of options locally why do you have to go to 3 and 3000 kilometers to uh, catch your wife a modern era youth can do that think but if ramchandra ji had traveled 3000 kilometers down south to search and what is the kind of search he doesn't know the direction he doesn't know who has taken he doesn't know where she has been taken no clue at all he is just walking a modern youth you think he will walk she will go and give one police complaint over complaint is also forgotten that lady is also forgotten and the parents are very interesting they will get him married again why first uh, daughter in law is lost over that is why our stories will not be shown as a divine story why is this so very important because ramchandra ji now please no immediately don't, don't jump to conclusion he had got totally attached to his wife therefore he could not live without his wife he went in search of his wife only no 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 that was 1% of the entire ramayan but the 99% of the entire ramayan is to teach you and me what is life therefore rama is great 
in the process he had to face so many challenges you and i won't please why we feel it is all waste of time think think that is why we remain where we are whereas ramchandra ji is actor is bhagwan and every single episode of a story is a teaching is a learning for you and me is a path that is said that we have to set ourselves we have to trek in that path think and why are we not able to understand you know why because ramayan's glory bhagwan shri ramchandra ji's greatness can only be understood by a person with a pure heart how much is our mind how much is our heart how much is our intellect contaminated we ourselves no we don't require somebody else to tell us you are like this you did not do this this is what you are no a third person if he tells that is his foolishness that is different i myself know what i am don't we know i know my mind the quality and texture of the thoughts that i entertain describe my culture is it not the quality and texture of thoughts that i entertain is what i have become and it is these quality and texture of thoughts defines a person as a noble person or as an ignoble person and very many times we keep changing our quality and texture of thoughts therefore our value systems also keeps changing we have no respect for the earlier generations culture we have no respect for any ethics in our life we don't respect moral values because we say if i am a good person i can't survive in this world swami ji if you are a good person you will become a doormat in the society these are wrong they don't hold water think satyameva jayate when it is said it is said after time testing results think bhagwan shri ramchandra ji he stuck to his you know that that phrase is there he stuck to his guns he stuck to his value he stuck to his morality he lived that morality to understand ramchandra ji's life one requires a pure heart not everybody can understand you require a sharp intellect what do you mean by sharp intellect when the mind is quiet when the mind is pure then only intellect will become sharper param puja gurudev swami chinnan ji would say which i often quote quieter the mind sharper the intellect think an intellect which is sharper is able to gain the knowledge and for which please listen to these words very carefully very very carefully with all alertness and vigilance most important factor for any kind of growth in life is the grace of the guru normally speaking we only take a a guru as an individual entity with a particular physical body and a mind and intellect it only shows our immaturity a guru represents the guru tattva 
and guru tattva is established on knowledge the one who respects the guru respects the knowledge and the one who respects the knowledge through respecting the guru alone can gain that knowledge otherwise no along with that every single seeker please understand every single seeker requires the blessings from the parents the blessings from the guru blessings from the elders blessings from the neighbors you may not understand now you will understand when we think when we uh, go through ramayana in completeness blessings from every person is required think therefore pure heart quiet mind sharper intellect blessings from everybody most importantly parents and much more important is guru without guru's grace one can never reach the higher think na guru r adhikam tattvam na guru r adhikam tapah tattvagnyanat param nasti there is nothing beyond tattvagnyana and the only person who can give us tattvagnyana is the guru therefore unconditional unquestionable complete total surrender of the feet of the guru alone can take us to the higher realms of life therefore guru's grace parents blessings everything the one who has got all this alone can gain that knowledge again and again may i repeat please and what is that knowledge knowledge is the essence of vedanta what is the essence of vedanta that which is a personification of this essence is rama and what is the essence essence is physical knowledge the physical knowledge in meaning what knowledge at the physical level is dharma knowledge at the emotional level is bhakti devotion and knowledge at the intellectual level is gnanam knowledge the intellectual knowledge the emotional devotion and the physical surrender towards karma yoga these are the three very important factors of our vedanta pariprashnena sevaya upadekshan upadekshanti pariprashnena sevaya seva at the physical level devotion love and attitude of surrender at the emotional level mind and question pariprashnena proper right appropriate question very many times we question the guru to test the guru isn't it we want to test the teacher whether the teacher knows the answer think and based on that we start judging the teacher how immature think absolute surrender physical level seva emotional level devotion intellectual level knowledge this is the essence of vedanta it is these which are the knowledge which is taught in our vedanta and it gives us various sadhanas to practice them and takes us towards the higher realms which is moksha and the role model for all this is bhagavan shri ramchandra ji 
Who is Rama? Now we will come to Rama. Bhagavan Shri Rama, of course we know certain basic things. Son of Dasharatha, son of Kaushalya, adored by Kaikeyi and Sumitra, who is adored by the entire world in fact. Not only just Ayodhya, entire world, who has been considered as Bhagavan himself. This is Rama. But the best description given by Rama is by Valmiki ji. Valmiki Ramayana, we are going to deal with Ramcharitamana, Tulsi Ramayana, but as a prelude, we will take up this point and this is what is the entire Ramayana. We will see. Valmiki ji goes to Sri Narada, Adikavi Narada. Adikavi Valmiki goes to uh, Devarishi Narada. And all, often we always have a samvada, a particular grantha in our Sanatana Dharma always begins with a samvada. Valmiki ji starts the whole um, Ramayan with this. Tapasvadhyaya niratam tapasvi vagvidambaram naradam paripapracha valmiki munipungavam valmiki munipungavam One of the greatest of munis valmiki ji naradam paripapracha naradam to narada he went and asked Sri Naraji. Who is Naraji? Tapasvadhyaya niratam tapasvi vagvidambaram. Narada, who is a great tapasvi? We all know. In fact, we know Narada differently. We only know wherever Narada goes, he creates some problem. Karke. But all the time Narada's problems has ended in Shubha only. With this we have to understand. Here, Valmiki ji goes to Narada and, and asks a question. What is the question he asks? Very beautiful. First, I will chant that particular part and then we will discuss. Kon vasmin sampradam loke gunavan kascha viryavan dharmagnyascha kritagnyascha satya vakyo Charitrena chako yuktaha sarva bhuteshu kohitaha vidwan kaha kasamarthascha kaschaika priyadarshanaha atmavan ko jitakrodha dutiman ko nasuyakaha kasya bibhati devascha jata roshasya sanyuge eta dicham yaham shutam Param kautu halam hime maharshe tvam samartho si nyatu meva vidham naram. In one breath he asked. What is he asking? He is asking, to put it in one phrase, do you know a person? Do you know of a person who has got all these qualities, not some of these or one of these, all these qualities, which is otherwise called Shodasha Kala Purushaha. Sixteen qualities are enumerated here. Valmiki ji asking Naraji, Do you know a person who has got all these sixteen qualities? What are they? Asmin sampradam loke. Sampradam means 
in this modern era every era everybody calls modern only isn't it even today we call our particular hindi modern day swami ji after some time this will become old next generation they'll say swami ji in this modern days isn't it so everybody call themselves as modern era here also asmin sampradam loke kaha who do you know a person that is the meaning of the whole question who is now we will just end list the whole thing gunavan viryavan dharmagnyah kritagnyah satyavakyah dridhavratah charitrena chakoyuktah sarvabhuteshu kohitah vidwan kah kah samarthah kascha ek priya darshanah atma atmavan kah jitakrodah kah is common in everything dyutiman kah anasuya kah kasya bibhyati devascha jataroshasya sanyuge etat naram vidham etat vidham naram ichami nyatum ichami evam nyatum ichami shrutam param kautuhalam hi me i am very 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 curious i am just desperately waiting to know what do you know a person who has got all the shodasha kala purusha who is that person can you please introduce him to me why i want to learn from him he maharshi he tvam samarthah asi you are capable of knowing such a person why you are a devarshi you are a great tapasvi since you are a tapasvi and since you are a great rishi in with your gnana shakti with your divya darshana please tell me do you have such a person naraji was sweating probably why one value itself is difficult 16 values he says bahavo durlabha aschayiva ye tvaya kirtitam guna he valmiki tvaya kirtitam ye guna ha bahavah durlabha durlabha very 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 difficult he mune he he valmiki shruyatam what is shruyatam listen carefully listen not like cross ventilation hearing like how we all listen to our classes and all not listen we hear everything we hear and then we forget it cross ventilation when it is open not like that listen shruyatam buddha aham vakshyami having known what is your question i will now talk about naraha who is definitely there one person there is only one person please note none of us are included we can never be even in the list at all forget it one person is there who has got all these qualities who is that ikshvaku vamsha prabhava ramo nam janai shrutah niyatatma mahavirya dhutiman dhritiman vashi dhutiman dhritiman vashi ikshvaku vamsha prabhava the one who is in the clan of ikshvaku ramo nam janai shrutah his name is ram niyatatma mahavirya ityadi he enlists you know what 
होल रामायण इज नथिंग बट ए कमेंटरी ऑन दिस सेक्शन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दिस सेक्शन ऑफ द आंसर रामायण इज ओनली अ कमेंट्री ऑफ दिस वी विल सी मोर टुमारो हो शांति 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 हरि ओ श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ